Good morning, girls. How is it going this morning? Y'all ready for spring cleaning? It's time to clean this coop. And they're off. So it is time to clean the coop out and if you watch the one video where Brian screwed this in up there <laughs> so it'd be more sturdy, well now it's not practical to get out. Get out of my house. So I'll just work with it. Even though it's work, for some reason cleaning the coop was like a relaxing thing for me. I'm kind of weird that way. So every time we get new straws, bills, they like to come and eat the chaff left on it from the wheat. Did y'all find you some chaff? Yummy chaff? <laughs> yeah, look at that mess I'm making in your house. Get your bugs. You find some bugs? This windy, like I mentioned before, after we clean out the coop thoroughly, we come and we lay it in the garden. So it's gonna go on the, over where the green beans were and this area. Brian's got this tomato area ready. And he has planted about 300, 300, 400 onions in this bed and that bed. So we got that planted so far. After I clean it all out, I'll come back and rake it down. But this, uh, it both fertilizes it and the thickness of the straw keeps the weeds down. Now we're using this old trampoline tarp to uh, keep weeds down. Brian started uh, tilling over there. And as you can see, we've got grass and weeds already taken over. Let's go check our asparagus. I already cut one. But the pigs were over here, so I don't know if they rooted up. Uh-oh, a chicken was in here. I bet a chicken ate it. I gotta come and clean this up again. I just did the other day. And then they were in our tomato plants. Oh, look. Okay, that's a strawberry, not tomato. Strawberry, strawberry. There's a strawberry. Okay, good, they're not totally dead. But the pigs got in here and rooted all this too. They broke through the fence over there.
if you watched my previous video on the difference between hay and straw, you can really see it. Straw, hay. This is Bermuda grass. And you may be wondering if uh, the grass seeds will spread. Very possible, but if you keep it thick enough, the weeds will not grow. About five more barrels and I'll be done. So while I go dump the hay, all the chickens come in and they eat any bugs or anything they may find. These girls are upset because they're trying to lay some eggs. And, see what I found in there. It's two goose eggs. Unlike chickens, geese and ducks like to bury their eggs. So every time I clean the coop, I find some eggs somewhere. So a fun fact about chickens, they're um, all sweaty and windblown. Um, a lot of people wonder what makes them have colored eggs. I get asked that a lot. And it's just the breed of chicken. But as a rule of thumb, if they have red earlobes, they lay brown eggs. And if they have white earlobes, they lay white eggs. With the exception of the Americana and some of the colored egg layers. We just have two white egg layers. So anyway, just a fun little fact, if you didn't know. Can you see the white ear low? No, don't leave. You're doing good. She's got a white ear low too. So as you can see, as I get more and more hay out, it gets a little damp underneath at the very bottom. So the chickens come through and they scratch it, which dries it like she's doing. And then she eats all the bugs and chaff and anything else she finds. So really, she's helping me clean the coop, aren't you girl? And this one, I am hot. Okay, I don't know what load this is, but every time I go dump it in the garden and I come back, there's like 10 chickens in here cleaning it up for me. You can see how much hay and straw come out of the coop. I'm not even done completely. But I got the big chunks, the wet chunks. The rest is mostly loose. So I'll probably just spread this now. a lot is will your hens lay eggs if you don't have a rooster and the answer is yes they will 
But if you want to hatch out any eggs, you will need a rooster. Still spreading the hay. You girls working? Huh? Oh, I see some eggs in there. I normally just collect eggs in the morning when I let them out. And then at four o'clock in the afternoon, they're always done by then. If anybody watching is seriously thinking about homesteading, starting to, chickens are the easiest animal to start with. Highly recommend it. With four hens, you'll probably get a dozen eggs a week. Probably get more than that, actually. We have 28 hens right now, and they're giving over a dozen a day. So, we have a lot of eggs. Coop is looking good. It's all fresh. You can still see the dust. Someone who's never spread straw or hay. Yeah, it's a complete dust storm. And I have dust on my lens. All right, y'all going out. We're done, we're done, go on. Coop is all clean. I put the ladder back in and now she's gonna scratch all the chaff out of there. It's always fun to have fresh coop. Hi huh, girls? Make sure there's no chickens down here. Sometimes they get back there and lay eggs back there. I don't see them until forever. No, come on. Well, that concludes the spring coop cleaning and random facts about chickens. <laughs> now I'm going to take a really long shower.